Okay, so in this episode, we are going to start a new series on SAS and this is the first episode and it's an introduction part. So you will see what the series is all about. So first thing first, what is SAS? As the SAS full form is syntactically awesome style sheet. So I think I'm getting idea that it is connected to style sheet. Style sheet means CSS. Okay, so SAS is just an extension of the CSS. So what do you mean by the extension? That means it pre-process every code you written for SAS. But what is pre-processor? So I will tell you, but before that I will answer this question why you should use SAS. Because if you have used CSS, then CSS does not have any loop, any if condition, any for each loops like that things, even not a variables. But these things are present in SAS. Next is, if you have used CSS, if you know CSS, then you don't have to know any new syntax. It's all easy, easy to learn, easy to implement and everything is very easy. It's very well formatted and you have to write less code for creating more CSS. So next thing is what? I have told you it's a preprocessor. But what exactly a preprocessor means? Preprocessor is a program that modifies data for the input requirement of another program blah blah blah. The simple thing is it's a preprocessor. That means it generates CSS. But before generating CSS, it processes the code you have written on the SAS. So if you have a SAS codes, then if you run the SAS command, then it will convert that SAS code, process that SAS code and convert that code into proper CSS code. That's why it's a program to generate another program or to modify another program. So the next thing is what you get after this course. Obviously the full knowledge of SAS with the example. You can create awesome style sheets and let's grow together. So if you want to learn new things you can just comment me and I will include that thing in this series if it is related to SAS and Whenever I found a new thing which is beneficial for you, for everyone, then I will add that video in this series. So if you want to learn SAS with Bitfilm and if you want to grow your knowledge and if you want how you can create the best projects with Laravel and other cool steps, you can subscribe this channel. You can like Bitfilms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. If you have any problem, please feel free to comment me. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.